This is the plaintiff, Gail Machado. She says she was training for the Boston Marathon and was running on the sidewalk, and next thing she knows, a vicious pit bull bites her. That's right. The defendant's junkyard dog got loose, bit her on the back of her tricep after lunging at her, and she's lucky to be alive. The ignoramus defendant then had the nerve to yell at her, saying she should have run in the street and not on the sidewalk. Huh? She's suing for $1,000 for medical pills, medicine, and a torn shirt. This is the defendant, Dorothy Hens. She says her pit lab mix is the sweetest puppy in the world, and he was just protecting her. As she was bending over to pick up some poop, the plaintiff, who she originally thought was a man, came up from behind her and grabbed her butt. The dog went into protective mode and gave her a warning nip. The plaintiff's a weirdo. Her dog was on a leash, and if she didn't grab her derriere, nothing like this would have ever happened. She's accused of causing a doggy disaster. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff was training for the Boston Marathon, says the defendant's pit bull attacked her, but the defendant says the plaintiff grabbed her butt and the dog just tried to protect her. It's the case of grabbing a bite. Gail Machado? Correct. You are suing Dorothy Henze for $1,000 in medical bills, medication, and pain and suffering because of a dog bite. Correct. Tell me what happened. So on Sunday, April 12th, um, it was probably around 5.30 p.m. that I went out for a run, and I was just finishing up, and um, I observed a pit bull on, well, it appeared to be a pit bull, a large dog on a leash uh, on my right, but I didn't really think anything of it because it was on a leash. You don't think anything of running right past a pit bull? Because I kind of think about it, but It was ahead. on a leash, of, right. you know, a domestic animal, so I just kept going, minding my own business, and... I don't listen to music when I run, so I heard kind of a commotion behind me, and just as I turned, I saw its teeth lunge at my right arm. Was and it, she still holding it on the leash? No, at that point it had gotten loose. Oh, it got loose, okay. Yeah, the leash was still attached to right, it. Right, right. Trailing behind, but right. it pushed me into kind of a fence with some bushes on it, and it got my the right rear of my arm. Did he latch on? Uh, no, he got off me, and then she got a hold of him. And, and what happened, what'd she say? Um, well, she asked me, well, she kind of yelled for me to come towards her so I could show her my arm because I said the dog bit me. I was in a lot of pain. I could see that my shirt was already torn. Um, Do you I have the shirt? She, yeah, Let I have it. Let me see it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No yeah, gloves. Well. No gloves for you. All right. <laughs> you got to tough this sure. I don't, don't want to seem like uh... the incident, so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right, and um, so you tell her the dog bit me, and what does yeah. she say? What does she, she say? She said, "No, it just scratched you. It just scratched you. Come here." And I said, "I don't want to go near that thing." Even though she had it on the leash, I said, "I don't want to go near it." And there was a woman who lived next door who had been in her yard, and she asked me if I was okay, and I showed her. And I mean, the shirt, even though there was a hole, I guess the wound wasn't that visible. Do you have right a picture away? of the actual wounds? I do. Yeah. And then what did the lady do to help? Um, she just tried to calm me down, and then Ms. Hens said, um, you know, come here, come here. And when I wouldn't, she said, can you hold my dog? And the lady was like, I'm not, I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so then eventually I took a step forward, and the dog kind of lunged at me again. So I said, oh, no, 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 no. And she said, it just scratched you. It didn't bite you. It didn't bite you, but it has its shots. It has all its shots. So then um, I managed to go to my parents' house, which was even closer than where I live, and my sister was there, and I showed her, and she, you know, she said, oh, there are definitely teeth marks, you should go to the emergency room. Okay. That was after a couple of days, like with the bandage, it left some mark and stuff. What I happened? Have a police report. What happened? Now I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago, okay. It was, it was yeah, on a April. Sunday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, go okay. ahead. She was jogging, and she saw my dog, and she started screaming that you have a fear Talk of dogs. Talk to me. Oh, she has a fear of dogs. She's very afraid of dogs. So when she started screaming, my dog got nervous. How'd your dog get loose from you? 
My dog did get loose from me. I was holding my dog. Did your dog get, get away from you? No, I was holding my dog. When your dog bit her, you were yeah, it was you were holding my, on to a leash. I was hold, pulling the dog Not away. Not successfully, because the dog ended up biting her. Yeah, I was hold. Did you tell the, the police down. that the dog got no, away from you? There was no police. Did you ever speak to anybody about no. this? No. It's Ma'am, I have wrong, a question for you because I'm going to read to you your answer to this complaint. I own a dog that is a pit lab mix. She is just the sweetest puppy ever. About six months ago, I was walking my dog on a leash. I bent down to pick up my dog's poop, and all of a sudden, the plaintiff, who I thought was a man, yeah. came jogging up behind me and grabbed my behind. Mm -hmm. I was shocked, and my dog was protecting me and snapped at the plaintiff. The plaintiff started screaming that my dog bit him. I told the plaintiff he should run in the street. The plaintiff kept screaming, so I told him to calm down. Mm -hmm. The plaintiff was a bit of a weirdo. Yes. He even <laughs> jogged weird. There were cops all over the place. They what? My, we what? Just, there were cops all over the place when your dog bit this guy? Because yes. she doesn't look like a guy. So you thought she was somebody person. else who apparently also got bit by your dog. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hear yourself? How yes. many times has your dog bit someone? Twice. And you couldn't keep the two of them straight when Gail sued you? You couldn't keep straight that it was, oh, it's the girl, not the guy? I think you can't possibly keep track of how many times this has happened. No, Did you twice. call animal control? Because it's no, funny I, till it stops being funny. I, I called You know what I mean? It's <laughs> funny till it stops being funny. Did you never call animal control to file a complaint? Uh, when I went to the hospital, we filled out an animal like bite report, which I believe might be through animal control. Apparently not, because nobody went to talk to her. Nobody went to talk to you. No, well, the, the but the, it's funny because you say here, what I told my husband, Phil are you the husband? Yes. Yeah, yes, can you come on up? My husband told me not to tell the cops that the plaintiff grabbed my butt. I didn't want to get the plaintiff in trouble, and I was kind of embarrassed. What on earth is this? So what do you do if you have a dog and the dog bites at least twice? What do you do? You know, it, it, you can just protect yourself as best you can. How so how do you do it when the dog bites twice and you think the dog's biting? Well, you know, you can kick and run, uh, you know, ask the owner to try to take control of the animal, but however... No, I'm saying if you own the dog, what do you do? Oh God, I know what you're going to say. No. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I would try to get a training or something. I try to get a trainer involved. I get it a muzzle. I would do precautionary measures to make sure it can bite somebody. Get Caesar Milan. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Caesar Milan going inside the courtroom. Was there a time when your wife told you that a runner grabbed her butt so the dog attacked? I'm yes. asking him, not you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Okay. You want care to elaborate? How many times has your dog bitten somebody? Twice. How is it that when Gail Machado sues you, you don't realize this is the girl he, that the dog bit and not some guy that the dog bit? I didn't know. I didn't know. You Why don't you know? Don't girl? talk to her. Don't oh. talk to me. Why don't you know? Is, it, is, is this your wife? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to read to you from the police support, folks. Okay. Machado relates that as she passed them, the dog got free from Dorothy's grip and ran after her, eventually jumping up and biting her in the right tricep. The officer viewed the aforementioned bite mark. By the way, do you, do you have a scar there or did it heal? It's healed pretty well. Let me um, see. There is. Yeah, can you come on up here? Oh. Yeah, you have a scar there. How long ago was it? So seven months. Yeah, girl, you're gonna have a scar there. Oh. Yeah, that's staying there. <laughs> the cops went to your house and spoke to you, according to the cop. He said, maybe this is just happening so often that this dog is biting people that you just can't keep all of it straight. Twice she said that you told the police that you were bending over to pick up the dog's feces, at which time Machado came running by, causing Roxy to become distracted and get away from you. That was the man. How, 
did your dog bite the man and the woman on the same day that you got were to get confused like that because the police no. came to your house a day after this happened? I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. How do you forget that your dog attacked another human being? No one forgets that. I think that you just don't want anybody to take the dog away from you, and it sounds like somebody should. It sounds like you don't know how to control a pit bull. And that's not good for the rest of humanity. It's not. Because something bad is gonna happen if this has happened twice and she can't walk that dog. Who was walking the dog when the guy got bit? Me. Oh. I don't Do you ever walk the dog? Yes. Yeah, yeah I don't walk Does this happen dog. when you walk the dog? No. I don't walk the dog no more. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I don't walk the dog. No. Yeah. You had to pay out of your own pocket at the hospital five hundred and forty-seven dollars. Well, I'm still paying it. Yeah, okay. You had to pay forty-one dollars for medications. Your shirt, you're asking for thirty dollars and three hundred and eighty-one dollars and eighty-nine cents for your pain and suffering. Tell me about the pain and suffering of being bitten by a pit bull. Well, it didn't tickle in the moment. Um, it it was bleeding, but you know, not dripping blood. You saw from the pictures how it was. Yeah, and it Excuse was me. sore. Folks, why is this okay? You tell me. Why is this okay that another human being have to suffer this? Why? Why is that okay? Yes. If that was your arm, would that bother you? Yes. When do people have to stop getting bit by your pit bull for you folks that's to handle the situation? That's why I don't want Why is there a walk. second time? There shouldn't have been a second time. If you had taken care of it after the first time, she wouldn't have been bit and have to go through that. $1,000 verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. Yeah, okay, come on in here, the defendant. You got everything straight now on who bit who, when, and yes, why? Yes, yes, And why you lost this case? Yes. Okay, so how, how do you feel about those photos you saw? Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Why did you make her sue you? Why didn't you just pay her? She never asked for no. She never asked, no, she never asked. What's with you two? I don't know. I uh, just don't walk the door no more, he does. All right. All right, follow Officer right. McIntosh around Thank there. You. You're the wrong person, apparently. Did the, you know you're the wrong person? No, I had no idea that you this you dog the had right done person, this right? before. Yes, mm -hmm. and it kind of boggles my mind that the dog has bit more than one person, and mm -hmm. it's a little alarming considering that it could have been a child or, you know, could have done worse damage. So, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's scary. Tough uh, ordeal to go through. Uh, how, how bad is the... Uh, it's better now. I mean, occasionally I'll have pain, like if I get really cold and I get goosebumps in the area. still practicing? You're still running? I'm jogging still through, running. Oh. Through there? Uh, yeah, occasionally, although I, I, I check before I... All right, if you see a dog them. like that, you know, maybe you could mm, detour around yeah, or something. Yeah, I've been trying to go in the street uh, okay. Yeah, when I see a dog. Right. Harvey? I gotta say, if you live around dog owners like these dog owners, call Animal Control. They can do something.